Our employees are not children. Spotify slams Amazon how real innovative companies work. Today we're diving into a quote that shook the corporate world. Spotify CEO Daniel X said best, our employees are not children. This statement comes in direct contrast to Amazon's strict return to office policy and it highlights just how Spotify is leading the way in real innovation. So why are some companies pushing for outdated office mandates while others are embracing the future of work? Stick around because we're going to break this down today. Welcome to Startup Hack. I'm Spencer Thomason, and here at Startup Hack, we love to train software developers in our licensed coding boot camps and build custom software solutions. I do a lot of work as a fractional CTO. With over a decade of executive leadership and a solid 25 years in software development, I've mastered the art of transforming technology, teams, and products. All right, let's kick some things off with some context here. Spotify has made waves with its flexible work from anywhere policy, while Amazon, on the other hand, is enforcing a return to office mandate that has the 1980s calling if it were it back. This isn't just about work preferences, it's about who understands innovation and who doesn't. Spotify's approach says we trust you to get the job done no matter where you are. Amazon, meanwhile, seems stuck in the past with its top-down approach, assuming employees need to be micromanaged and babysat. Let's be honest, this isn't the 1990s anymore. Now, Spotify's work policy is a direct reflection of trust. The company believes that talented people who are passionate about their work don't need to be babysat. Daniel X statement, quote, our employees are not children, was a not-so-subtle dig at companies like Amazon, and he's right. Studies show that remote workers are often more more productive than their in-office counterparts. A Stanford study even showed a 13% increase in productivity among employees who worked from home. When you give people flexibility and autonomy, they tend to thrive. Now let's talk some numbers. Companies that embrace remote work have been shown to outperform their more rigid counterparts. According to a study from Apollo Technical, companies that allow remote work saw higher revenue growth. In fact, Bloomberg reported that remote-friendly jobs are good for business, with companies experiencing faster revenue growth than those demanding a full return to the office. Why? because happier employees are more productive employees. It's not rocket science, folks. Flexibility leads to better work and better work leads to higher profits. Now, the Amazon approach is backward thinking. Let's contrast this with Amazon's approach. Amazon has doubled down on its in-office mandate, requiring employees to return to the office at least three days a week. The company argues that collaboration happens best in person. While there may be some merit to that, it ignores the fact that the world has changed. Technology now allows for seamless collaboration from anywhere. Forcing people back into offices feels like a step backwards. Spotify, on the other hand, recognizes that great work can happen from anywhere, and that's why they're winning the talent game. Now, Spotify's work from anywhere policy also gives a massive advantage in hiring. When you're not tied to a physical office, your talent pool is unlimited. You can hire the best developers in the world, whether they're in Silicon Valley or a remote village in Norway. Amazon's return to office policy limits them geographically. They need people who can commute to specific cities. That's a huge disadvantage when it comes to attracting top tier talent. In a globalized workforce, flexibility is the key to hiring the best people, period. Now, speaking of optimizing your operations, if your company has systems that aren't connected, reach out here because we can help. Here at Startup Pack, our specialty is connecting systems to help your company run like a well-oiled machine. Check out startuppack.com slash Spencer and let's make more out of your business today. Now, employees are grown-ups and let's treat them like that. Spotify gets one fundamental thing right. Employees are adults. They don't need to be constantly supervised or to be confined to a desk to be productive. The idea that workers need to be managed is an outdated relic of the past. Modern companies like Spotify treat their employees like the responsible professionals that they are. By trusting employees, Spotify fosters a culture of responsibility and ownership. This isn't about employees slacking off, it's about giving them their freedom to do the best work in whatever environment suits them. Now, when employees are given the flexibility to work in ways that suits them, innovation flourishes. Spotify's model of remote work allows their developers, designers, and engineers to think creatively without the constraints of office walls. Companies stuck in the old way, like Amazon, risk stifling that creativity. When you're worried about the next in-office meeting, you're less likely to think outside of the box. And that's why innovative companies are pushing ahead while Amazon is, well, stuck in neutral. If you need an example of that, just look at Alexa. How successful has that been over the last five years compared to the other AI growths? Now, studies consistently show that remote work leads to higher job satisfaction. The flexibility to work from anywhere allows employees to better balance their work with their personal lives. This leads to happier employees, and happier employees stick around longer and perform better. According to a report from Fast Company, Spotify's HR chief emphasized that their work from anywhere policy has led to lower attrition rates and higher employee satisfaction. Meanwhile, Amazon employees are voicing concerns about burnout and frustration
question over the rigid return to office policies. I mean, who's happy when they walk into work after a two hour commute? So let's dispel the myth that in-person work is the only way to collaborate effectively. Modern technology has made remote collaboration even easier. Tools like Slack, Zoom, GitHub, Google Meet, everything make it possible to work together instead of in real time, no matter where you are. I actually think that as a developer, it's easier for me to work collaboratively with somebody sharing my screen and my keyboard than is trying to hunch over their shoulder and figure it out over their shoulder. Spotify understands this and they've leveraged technology to build a global team that works seamlessly together. Amazon's insistence that people need to be physically present to collaborate feels outdated and out of touch with a modern company that should be as modern as Amazon is. Now, Stanford's productivity stats speak volumes. Remember the Stanford study I mentioned earlier? It's worth digging into. The study showed that remote employees were not only more productive, but also took fewer sick days and had higher job satisfaction. The flexibility work from anywhere directly correlates to better performance. Companies understand this and they're reaping the benefits of trusting their employees to work from wherever they feel most productive. Another interesting thing from this study is that on average, employee satisfaction was higher and employees actually worked more when they worked from home. So Amazon, meanwhile, is stuck in outdated belief that productivity only happens in the office and that is really going to bite them. Now here's another point. Remote work can save companies a ton of money. Without the need to maintain massive office spaces, companies can cut costs significantly. Other companies have already begun scaling back on office space, investing that capital into, I don't know, innovation and jobs. Amazon, on the other hand, is pouring money into keeping massive office spaces operational. Imagine the innovation they could fund if they shifted those resources elsewhere, like say AI. Spotify's remote work policy isn't just a perk for employees, it's a smart financial decision for the business. Now, the future of work is flexible. So the debate over remote versus in-office work often misses the bigger point. The future of work is flexible. It's not about forcing everyone to work from home or making everyone return to the office. The real innovation is in flexibility, letting employees choose what works best for them. Some people thrive in office settings, others do their best work from home, and still others prefer a hybrid approach. Companies are beginning to recognize this and they're building cultures that allow for flexibility. That's how you attract and retain top talent. At the end of the day, great companies are the ones that adapt to their employees' needs. Some employees love the camaraderie of the in-office, while others appreciate the focus they can get from working remotely. The best companies are the ones that provide options. They don't force a one-size-fits-all approach. Amazon could learn a thing or two here. Instead of enforcing rigid rules, why not offer flexibility? The future belongs to companies that understand how to work with their employees, not against them. Now, what are your thoughts? Do you agree? Do you disagree? I love having a great discussion. Leave a comment down below. I answer them all personally. Here at Startup Hack, we love to train software developers in our licensed coding boot camps, as well as to build custom software solutions for companies. So reach out because we'd love to help. Hit the links down below or check out startuphack.com slash Spencer today.